Several Republicans have criticized Hunter Biden after he reached a deal to plead guilty to tax charges. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy called it, quote, a sweetheart deal. A number of GOP 2024 candidates, including former President Trump, have also accused the Justice Department of going easy on the president's son. CBS News senior White House correspondent Weijia Jang joins us now. Weijia, good to see you. Busy day. How is the White House responding to this tentative plea deal? Well, the White House issued a very short statement on behalf of President Biden to say uh, that the president and first lady love their son and they support him as he continues to rebuild his life. The last line says that we will have no further comment. And that's not surprising because with any case that has to do with the DOJ, the White House, the president is very careful to have separation to make sure there is no blur um, because they would argue, unlike uh, former President Trump, that you know these two entities are very independent. So we actually don't expect uh, to hear much more from the president about this. I mean, he might speak in his capacity as a father, just to reiterate the statement that you just saw on the screen that I just read, to say that he supports his son, Hunter. But uh, we should not expect him to weigh in on anything regarding the facts of the case, on the investigation, just like he hasn't weighed in on the former president's case either. Certainly a brief statement. Uh, how could this all impact the president's reelection campaign? Well, to the point that you just made, Nikki, that there are so many different opinions that are already flying around. I think there's plenty of fodder for both the Democrats and the Republicans here in terms of making this a campaign issue, which, by the way, I don't know how much that would change the campaign, because I think Republicans all along, um, from the beginning, from 2020 and probably in 2024, uh, will make Hunter Biden a focal point. But um, the difference now is that there is very specific language, there is now a decision that the Republicans are pointing to saying um, that it is a sweetheart deal. The reason why you hear this phrase over and over from Republicans from the Hill to the campaign trail is because they want to hammer home to voters, to the American public, that somehow uh, the Biden family got preferential treatment um, compared to other Republicans, compared to Trump when it comes to uh, getting a plea deal. Of course, these cases could not be more different. That's important context. Um, and Democrats have their own line of messaging, too. And I think, you know, we've already seen a lot of uh, high-profile Democrats saying that this shows how seriously President Biden takes the justice system, that he kept on a Trump appointee to prosecute this case, um, and that, you know, they also are mentioning the fact that Hunter Biden fessed up to what he did wrong. He pled guilty uh, when he thought he did something wrong. And so I think those two points on the Democrats' part will be um, broadened as we head into uh, the campaign season. Tonight on America Decide, you'll speak with the New York Democratic Congressman Dan Goldman. What are you hoping to discuss with him? What sort of insight might he provide? Well, I think much more about, you know, this political issue, because it's one thing you're, when you're talking about the actual facts of the case and the case itself, but, you know, there are a lot of political ramifications about this, too. So sort of what does this mean? And I want to understand more about what it means for the fact that, you know, um, there won't be further charges and whether that is uh, typical in cases like this and, and, you know, what the perception is from both sides about why. Is he in the clear now? Um, obviously, there are more investigations ongoing, but in terms of federal crimes, does that mean now that Hunter Biden is totally, um, you know, in the clear with regard to uh, those other cases that were being potentially investigated. So we also have a full panel um, of our fellow colleagues, including Catherine Herridge, who has been on top of all the investigations into Hunter Biden, and a strategist from both the Republican and the Democratic Party to sort of hash out the way they are interpreting these charges today. A lot to break down. We tuned in, Ouija. Thank you.